Hi you guys, I just wanted to show you this really quickly. Um, for all of those horror fans in your life, I had this great idea last night. I thought I would make a Christmas ornament or a holiday ornament, regardless of holiday, uh, for those folks who really like horror movies. I used uh, floor wax, clear floor wax, on the inside of the ornament swished it around very carefully, making sure to coat the entire thing, and then used white glitter. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Pardon me. Of course, I had to do that right now. Um, and then I swished around white glitter after that in the similar fashion, just rotating it around to coat the inside of the ornament. And I did that twice so that it got extra good coverage. And then... I was like, this is beautiful, but I want to do something kind of fun for my horror friends. So I, I wanted to make, like, blood on the snow effect, because this looked so much like snow to me. So then I thought, oh, I can make, use, use paint, like red paint. But I didn't have any red paint. I have all kinds of silver and gold and diamond and multi, but I didn't have any red dimensional paint. So instead, I used red lacquer nail polish. I wanted to make a dripping blood effect. So this is my blood on the snow made for horror fans Christmas ornament. It's kind of hard to rotate with one hand, not hold anything. And I made sure to put the top on while the lacquer was still just a little bit tacky. Being sure to hold it by the bottom, of course, so that I wouldn't mess up the rivulets. But, that way, it would hold on better. And I wanted to make sure that it was nice and staggered, instead of anything too uniform. And that is my blood on the snow, dripping blood, Christmas ornament. <laughs> I thought you guys would get a kick out of it. I will be giving that to a certain friend of mine, and... I think maybe making more in future, because it was relatively easy. Um, took a little while. I'm not going to say it doesn't take a bit of artfulness. you got to sort of dab and place carefully so it doesn't go too far everywhere. But it seems to be a cool effect. I dig the idea. See, like, you know, my white Christmas tree probably worked better on a green one, but, you know, it's this cool effect. I like it lots, and I hope you guys do too, and I hope the person who gets it likes it as well. And of course, you can do that on other colors. You can do them on, like, if you've got a green ornament, you can do red ble bleeding down. You could do, um, I thought, I have a red ornament. You could do red bleeding down, or black bleeding down. I thought maybe you could do black bleeding down. Here's my red one. And actually, this one has an open top still, so if you look inside, oh, it's hard to see, but there's just glitter. Two layers of glitter. I found the one layer. It coats nicely, but it's still a little transparent, so I do another swish of floor wax and do another coating of glitter so that it's nice and extra dense, nice and extra opaque. And even with this, this was micro-fine white glitter. So, it's still just a two to see through, but that's okay. My dripping blood ornament. Hope you guys dig, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.